There's MCC. How's it going? Yeah, I'd love to. Go for it, man. I'm going to wait right under this tree for you. Sounds good. <laughs> How's it going? Were you, who, you're just a little jaded. Just a little. I'm, I'm de facto. Hi. AKA Mark, nice to meet you. There's that blue line, flag of tyranny. Ridiculous. Oh my, look at this. Look at this crap. Wow. You guys didn't know MCC Michigan Constitutional Crusader is live right now he's been here for a little while check it out he's a good guy good patriot he's trying to hold our government accountable which is great so check him out he actually had some interactions earlier so not much going on for this stream yet anyway What are you up to today, Sheriff? Enjoying the beautiful weather, man. You working on any cases right now? No, nothing. Nothing? No. Well, the starts chirping, man, they're just attacking the babies, I think. I know, I, yeah, that's, I've had that happen quite a few times.
So what do you have to say about this little town of Tawas here? I love it, man. Born and raised here, 25 years. Right on. Right on. Where you guys from? I, you're not gonna tell me, but I. Oh no, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all around, man. So are you the, so you're the sheriff? Yes, sir. What was your name and badge number? I don't have a badge number, unfortunately. We don't, we don't sign badge number. Oh, okay. Just because it's such like a small department kind of thing? Yeah, we don't. Oh, okay. Right on. All right. Well, have a good one, Sheriff. Not too much. Beautiful day, that's for sure. I, I think we should start with the annex building where the health department is. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a, that's a hot one out, I'll tell you that. It's like, it's like kids going to I'm going to wait right here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll bring you all the good stuff. Okay. <laughs> I'm here with MCC. If you guys haven't checked them out, check them out. Michigan Constitutional Crusader. There's MCC right there, guys. <laughs> hey, thanks, Audit USA. Hey, We're in, uh, sorry, guys, I haven't been explaining very much. Um, Iosco County, Tawa City. Just went over to the sheriff's department now. As you can see, this is the Iosco County Annex Health Department, friend of court. MSU, safety inspection, you get it. Veteran Affairs. Can you guys see anything in there? Check out the signage. CC Get some good content. Can you guys go? We can, okay. but we don't have to. Well, that door wasn't supposed to be open, so. Well, it was. Oh, this isn't a public lobby? Uh, it is. Not right now because of COVID. Can you guys please go? What the heck? Where's your shoes? I, they're under my desk because you guys are supposed to be in here. What are you I mean, talking about? Really, I don't know what you guys are even doing, so I'm Recording. just. Recording. Just please leave. It's okay. Public don't. Lobby. It's no, okay. go. I'm go now. Leaving. Relax. Jennifer. It's really not a big deal. They will not go. You're fine. It's fine. Just go back. It is a big deal. You guys are supposed to be in here. Maybe you should Let check up on the First closed. Amendment. Jeez. Go. It's really nothing to get what so frustrated about. You want, you want a guarantee? Yes, I need them out. Go. I'm getting paperwork. Someone go. They won't leave. Come on, guys. You're not allowed in here. There's a camera right there, and we will call the sheriff's department. Please do. Please do. What What are you doing? May I ask what you're doing? I don't answer questions. Okay.
How are you doing today, sir? Good. How are you doing? Good. What's your name? Why would I tell you that? Okay. What's your name? My name is Scott. I work for the health department. Oh, right on, Scott. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. What are you guys doing in the building today? Have you heard the First Amendment right of the United States of America? Uh, yes, obviously. What can you tell me about the First Amendment? Well, I'm not here to have a philosophical okay. discussion. Okay, I don't have time you. for you then, man. I'm doing something. Hi, we have people over here on the front of the court. Um, I pressed my button, but they won't leave. Um, I don't know, there are videos. Is there any Looks like we're going to need some more accountability here, guys. Okay. Well, you won't even tell me what you're here for. I find that very suspicious. Oh, I'm not talking to you. I would appreciate it if you just leave me alone. Thanks. Okay. So, who are you talking to? Are you streaming? I mean, it's pretty clean, but the people's attitudes are just unreal. Have a good one, man. It's just cameras. Whoa. Hey, what's up? Huh? Awesome. Hey, how's it going, Sheriff? Good, Sheriff. Hey, you're getting all upset. Yeah, yeah. Know, it's, it's crazy. Going. It's making your town look bad, Sheriff. I'm just trying to make make them feel safe and happy. Can you guys do what you got to do? Well, I thank you for just telling them yeah. they have every right to do it. I, do. I know, I heard you. We appreciate that. That means yeah. a lot. That's, you that's... don't know how many law enforcement guys decide to become feelings police when yeah. it comes to the government and police. Yeah, big time in the school uh, county. Yeah, let me think about a small town, small departments, so everybody asks, you know, who are they going to look for? You know, we got one law enforcement agency right. around here, so they look to me, so, hey. Right. Yeah. Uh, but you guys have a right to be in the public, so cool. up to you. Sweet. All right. Thank you, sir. Right on, man. That's great. That's great to hear. Unlike a Skoda County, you got Kevin Grace up there, got all of his little... Everybody's different. Yeah, unfortunately, when it comes to the oath, though, for the for the sheriff's office, it should all be the same, you know. That's what's unfortunate. Yeah. Downstairs, Jeremy, I was going to give you a tour, man. That's just the sheriff's office. Oh, we're getting a tour. You guys hear that? We're getting a tour. We might be able to pass this town. Yeah, better than outside. That's why I told you, man. I was in the shade. Spartans, good to see they're uh, supporting MSU. Hey, you <sighs> Bathrooms, veterans departments this way. We got a tornado shelter. Well, we're still getting a stream going, so that's good. Veterans Affairs down here. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Just a random office here. And then we're back. Back to right here. Looks like some offices back here. This is the MSU extension part, I believe. Yeah. Oh, thank you. This is all MSU. Yeah, it's all MSU. Oh, thank you for clarifying that. That's when you're already clocked up, Ron. Yeah, that was Ron. Okay. Take care, Ron. Have a good one. Yeah. What's this yellow line here, Sheriff? Uh, MDOC office is around the corner. Oh, okay. So oh, the line starts there. It, well, yeah, the pro the pro agents do testing, so I think they make them. Oh, okay. The gotcha. pro pro ease can't go down. Okay, makes sense. So they have a little more uh, control over their, their client. Right. Gotcha. All right. Oh, the Grand Commission's closed? I swear there was just somebody in there. 
Oh, there's someone in there. Usually lock the door. <laughs> Do they close for lunch or something? No, they just come out and lock the door because they saw us come down the wow. stairs. Well, I take that back then about passing this place. Well, I mean, she kind of created her own privacy. Yeah, I mean. Didn't flip out or nothing, so I mean. Yeah, there it You've got a good point there. Thanks, you too. How you doing? Hi. Oh, I broke up the gossip section. <laughs> Bummer. Can't do that. Oh, here comes the city chief. Yeah, city chief. Tell the city, yep. Yeah. Tell the city, yep. Oh, thanks. What's your guys' policy on identifying if, if asked to identify? You don't have to. It's oh, law. okay. Just curious. I don't. We. I don't think we need a policy. We need a state law that really defines it, right? If you're not suspected of a crime and you've never committed a crime, you tell me no. It's a good day, right? And then, as far as like, if let, let's say you know me asking your identity, if if we had some sort of a communication and you're a public servant, I mean, what's your take on? an officer not identifying when you ask them to identify as a public servant? That's a tough question. I, I, don't, I don't know. If we don't ha I know we don't have a policy on requiring officers to identify themselves, and I've never seen a state law that says it's 100% required. If you guys can help me out. No, there's not a state law, yeah. but most departments have a policy. Yeah, we, we don't have one. Um, right. Being such a small department, like I said, we got one road guy. Yeah. Um, if you don't know who we are, yeah, you're not from Taos. <laughs> not from Iosco County. Right, right. Um, right. So that might be something we need to look into. If, if it becomes an issue, that, that's when we try to, hell, that's what all policies and procedures are. Some There was a problem at one time, and we need to clarify and get it better. Huh. Um, so we've never had that issue. I've never had an issue where an officer um, is refusing to identify himself. I guess if it becomes an issue, I'm one that less paperwork is better. So if you have an issue with an officer that's not identifying himself, we would look into it. You know, so I, right. I know we don't have one right now that, that requires it. We're open. You want to come in? Um, that, that requires it. Uh -huh. So but if it becomes an issue, that's what we have to look at, um, making things better. So. Right. Hey, I, I see your question, but care to elaborate more on that? It's understandable. It's all about the education. So once, once so they, far, once, you guys did great. So they everybody. thought they were getting, one of them thought they were going to be getting robbed. They didn't know what was going on. It's like, By so, a camera? So they didn't know what's going Automatic on. Automatic assault camera here. Yeah. <laughs> no, so that's why, as soon as they had an issue, everybody here knows me, so that's why I came over. And it diffused the situation yeah, with them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yep. No, we understand. Right on. All right. Have a good day, guys. Yep, you too. too. Stay safe out there. Thank you. Yeah. So, a sneak of the peak? Yeah, 
Congress tries to pass an unconstitutional law to invade lawful citizens' homes to confiscate their guns. Yeah, it won't happen. Such a it won't law. happen in Iowa County. We are uh, a constitutional Second Amendment county, and I do not believe in that. So there we go. You find, awesome. someone, find someone wearing blue. Maybe I'll have to move here. <laughs> <laughs> I put something like that on Facebook. We, we passed the Second Amendment right here in Iowa County. Yeah. Yeah, like, that's not right in this What do you think's the uh, for you? I mean, as a as a sheriff, and you know, probably a family man. Um, I mean, what's what's the most I guess beneficial thing for you what, that comes out of being in this position in office? Most beneficial being a sheriff. Yeah, like for 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 you personally, for you being a sheriff and a family guy. Like, what what's the most benefit for you? You know, times have changed. I mean, before yeah, everybody. I was growing up, you looked up to police officers, you looked up to the, the law enforcement, you looked up to the firemen. Um, coming from a law enforcement family, my dad is retired. Um, that's something I want to get into. Right. I like something I love, mm -hmm. helping the public. Um, and now that I've been doing it 25 years and worked my way back up to the actual sheriff now, um, I actually miss part of that because a lot of my job is political, and you know how politics are. Politics suck. Yeah. It doesn't matter if it's uh, government, <laughs> government level, state level, or, or, or simple small county level. Um, I miss that part. I, I, I hate the politics part of it. Yeah. Um, it's definitely needed. You know, I got a politic and fight for money for patrol cars for my guys for safety. Um, would I rather be out there um, riding around um, on the road like I've been doing? Most definitely. But, um, so I, I miss that part of it. I miss that part. Of it. Yeah. But yes, but yes I, I think having a family, and, you know, living in the community where you work, living in the community where you serve, and you know, try to protect the people. Yeah, I think it's excellent. I yeah, I can definitely understand that. I didn't hear that. I, I was just saying I could definitely understand okay. that for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. So Tammy knows me. I've been here forever. Um, don't plan on going anymore. Cool. Cool. Now do you understand? No, I got cops in my family too. <laughs> my dad was a cop. I don't think you've ever heard, come on, Tammy. I don't think you've ever heard me say you hate. I never. You've never heard me say you hate cops. I, I never, but a lot of cops think that all auditors hate cops. No. I, well, I will tell you, some auditors are different. Oh know? yeah. Some of them you, know, you guys are just very professional, and and uh, uh, but some are out there just to provoke, just to. You know, get on the edge, and they're gonna step over a couple of times to see what goes. For an audit like this, or for uh, something along this line. Yeah, you know, I, I've I've been more an open, and, and I'm an open book now. And so I'm, I'm a small good. town like this, you can't hide anything. So right. Yeah. Yeah. She didn't have her. She didn't have her shoes on. She's barefoot. <laughs> she has no shoes. On. <laughs> I said, "Where's your shoes?" She come on and said, "It's not supposed to be unlocked. It's closed." And it's like, "Oh, uh, there's no sign saying it's closed, and it was on." There we go. One one nine seven four three. One of you guys will violate our rights for us. I was really hoping to get some great content and get a lawsuit up today. I can't get we, first off, we don't got a lot of money up here. Like I said, I'm fighting for patrol car money. Well, I'm just kidding uh, so, with you. <laughs> I'm just just joshing it. I already got one going up in Escota County, so No, I mean this is the county building, so anything kind of like this goes on over a small town, uh, it's different than uh, Pontiac where you drive around the corner you're gonna see five different departments. Yeah. You know? Yeah, so. yeah I got trouble in Pontiac myself. Take him to court. The sheriff there is an idiot. So is his deputies. Is uh big county? Big money? Uh -huh. uh, yeah, one of the richest counties in Michigan. They were was it Oakland County one of the richest uh east of the Mississippi at one point? I'm not sure.
or I mean, I bet because of Detroit. Uh, that, you I know, know uh, they hold the most contracts for different agencies. So, um, yes, they're deputy sheriffs for that county, but they're also, you know, contracts for every township. Every yeah, city. they, they uh, take care of the city of Pontiac. There's yeah. no Pontiac police. Yeah, I think, I think they, they hold the most contracts, you know. They arrested me for recording in City Hall. <laughs> then they charged me with disorderly person slash lawyer. Because you wouldn't leave and they told you to leave. No, I did leave. Oh. I walked outside. He's like, we can continue this discussion outside like adults. So I walked outside and then I backed up against the braille and tried to ask me a question. He was like, that's it. And he put the cuff on so tight it dug into my bone and then he tried to twist it. I thought it was going to break my wrist. So, yeah. Unbelievable. Total yeah. tyrant behavior. Yeah. Yeah. Just go back and bottle the sun. <laughs> I don't believe you're wearing black. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's why I wear light colors in the sun. Yeah, work smarter, not harder. Exactly. Yeah. All right, you have been a, a breath of fresh air. I'll put it that For way. sure. Thanks a lot, Sheriff. Yeah, really I'll good. hang with you if you guys head to the courthouse because I tell you the same thing will happen there. So if you guys are, I will head, hang with you. Ah, oh, but that takes the fun out of it. Well, like I said, I'm walking over and I'm like, let me guess they called. <laughs> yeah. But we are the people too. You are? Here's an undercover, Dodge Durango, 119X220. You guys see anything in there? You guys see that lake over there? Like here on... I mean, yeah, he seems like a really nice guy, but uh, anyone can seem like a really nice guy for a conversation, so I don't know. I'm just going to be respectful and nice, you know, he's, he hasn't done anything really to me personally. I'll be nice. I mean, he's answered our questions. Questions been pretty cordial. Oh, here we go. You can watch this one too, De facto media group. De facto? Yep, de facto. Oh no, I'm not I'm not that advanced yet. Uh, I just started after Kevin Grace decided to screw with my family and do all kinds of unethical things. Oh shoot, I appreciate it, Sheriff. Thank you so much. I know you want to show it there so everybody sees it. Yeah, let's do that. Here you guys here you guys go. Sheriff Scott D. Frank. He's been very professional and respectful. And he's familiar with the Constitution, unlike Kevin Grace in Escota County. Deputy Pete Meyer. They don't like Facebook reviews, guys. Iosco County. Seems like they're doing what they need to do, at least from what I can tell. Tell me if I'm not, too. We'll make it better. So that's, see, that, see, look at that, guys. One now and then come back six months, we'll fix all the deficiencies. Now, you guys could say he's full of shit for the cameras, or he could be totally genuine, oh. and we can come back. And I, I don't know. I, I think you're a good guy. I think you're a good guy. I, I'm definitely believing that we're going we're gonna to come back and take you up on that. That's, that's okay. pretty cool. Really appreciate it. It's really a, it's really a beautiful town, too. Yeah. Courthouse. Board of Commissioners in there. Verification succeeded. Please check temperature. Clerk 
collections, family division. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Although half of you are police, that's fine. If you are a law enforcement officer, I'd like you to take note of how this sheriff handled himself today. We got the Christmas tree up back there. That's cool. Are they still making birdhouses at the jail? Uh, we have not made them um, six months, but if someone wants them, we definitely can. Uh, Is that front exit? There's another courtroom. Prosecuting attorney office. Yeah. Well, you look at the wood, my sign outside. You don't have a sign up there anymore because uh, that was it was taken down and we're redoing it. So we've got different projects. <laughs> no, you're just. That's part of the politics part, man. You said I don't yeah, like right. That's part of the politics. Right, I hear you. Okay, even though I moved up here, even though I moved up here, they I know, I saw that. That's what I was trying to get in these windows. That office right there. This office? Yeah, you can see it. You've seen it. Oh, sorry. I'm not zoom out. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I haven't even been looking at the comments because I've been watching my back. But the sheriff was walking by me. Anyway, hey, what's up, Wolverine, Chris? Thanks everyone for tuning in. I'm out here with MCC. Trying to catch up on all this. Yeah, small town. <coughs> Tawas, Michigan, Niosco County. These blinds were open when we walked by, now they're all closed. Chris Pete. Christoph, hey man. Appreciate it. Wolverine Transparency. What's up, man? Just enjoying the weather out here at MCC. Thank you so much. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. I'll go jump on you guys. Right on. All right, sounds good. Get something cold to drink. Oh, it's de facto media group. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Yeah, yeah, 
down this way with me for a minute. Okay, I'll set. I think I'm gonna end this. What, is there something up here you wanna check out? Or? Okay, we'll be back. <laughs>